So, I have sums and differences. Let's get our pens to do that for us. Let's look at the sums circuit first, okay? It's a very simple example of a sum circuit. going to be related to the sum of these two voltages, V1 and V2. I forgot to draw this one. It wouldn't work if you don't have this piece over here. Okay? That's very, very important. And you also make sure that this is connected. Otherwise, things wouldn't work. Okay? So, we make all PEMS approximations, and V plus is equal to zero, because V plus is connected to the ground. And let me draw a ground here. Maybe it looks more like a ground. Okay. And then I have V minus is approximately equal to V plus equal to zero. So V minus is also very close to being grounded. Okay. So if I were to write down the equal, say, current law at this node, then I would have V minus minus zero over R1 V minus minus V1 by R1 Yeah, yeah, it should be V1 minus 0 not V minus minus 0 Okay, it should be V1 minus 0 because V1 minus 0 is the voltage across this one so that one gives me the current IR1 I1 maybe. So this piece gives me I1. Okay? Plus this piece over here, what is I2? I2 would be just V2 minus 0 over R2. Because V1 is, uh, V minus is close to 0. So this I1 and I2 must be given that by that two terms over there, and this must be I2. And then I have to figure out what this current is. Maybe this is RF. I figure out what is IF. IF would be equal to 0 minus V0. This thing being almost been grounded, divided by RF. Okay? So this is a kickoff, kickoff uh, current law, right at this node over there. And you can solve for V0 very easily. Okay, V0 is equal to minus RF over V1 over R1 times V1 plus RF over R2 times V2. Okay, so you can see that VR is the sum of these two voltages. You can adjust your RF and R1 to change this sum. You can make Rf over R1 being equal to 1 and then with sum of two voltages, and if you don't like those weighting numbers, you can adjust your parameter. Yes? Isn't it the way it's set up, then you have like V minus equal to zero volts? Yeah, V minus is being grounded, close to being grounded, yeah, zero volts. So if I write down this equation, it will be V1 minus zero gives me that current divided by that R. V plus is zero. V plus is zero too. Yeah, V plus is zero because V plus is connected to the ground. V minus is always very close to V plus to the order of microvolts. Okay, so you don't have to worry about how far away this is from zero. This is approximately equal to zero. So I'm assuming that V minus is zero. Okay, and then when I write this other current, 
This other current is 0 minus V0 divided by Rf. Okay. Are there any, any problem with this approximation? No problem, right? Okay, very good. Let's see how we can define a different circuit then. A circuit that takes the difference of the input and give you an output. So that circuit looks something like this. minus, this is B plus and so on, yeah. usual thing. And then I have this grounded. So let's analyze this circuit. V minus must be approximately equal to V plus, which is an F, which is an op-hem approximation. Okay, and in this uh, textbook example over here, uh, Rf is actually made to be R2, I think. Let me check again to make sure. Rf is made to be R2. That's right, Rf is made to be R2. Okay. And then if that is the case, then I can know that V minus must be equal to V naught times half. Because no currents can flow into the R pan. So if you have this loop over here, okay, V minus must be equal to V zero. Um, let me check if it's correct. V minus and V plus is equal to V one over two. Uh, let me see. Okay, let me write down the approximation for V plus first. V plus. Sorry about that. V plus is V1 divided by 2. Okay, because if there's a V1 over here, <coughs> that voltage is going to be mainly dropped in this loop because no current can flow into the off hand. So V plus must be V1 over 2. Okay, V plus must be V1 over 2. And then I have to write the other one correctly. And if this one is V1 over 2, this must also be approximately equal to V minus. So V minus is approximately equal to V1 over 2. Then now I can write the Kikov current law at this node. Okay, there's no current flowing there. So I will have V2 minus half V1. Okay, let me assume that this is the current that goes by I2. Okay, I2 is V2 minus V1 divided by R2. Okay, V2 minus V1, this is just V1. Uh, this is just V minus, sorry. And it's just V minus. And then that must be equal to the current flowing over there. Okay. Must be equal to half V1, this is V minus again, yeah. minus V out divided by R2. And you can see that R2 cancels each other. Okay, R2 cancels each other. V out is equal to V2 minus V1. Okay, so this is the voltage difference of, it takes a difference of two voltages. Okay? 
Are there any questions so far regarding this offer? I have about five minutes left, so you can ask as many questions as you can within this five minutes. Any questions? Yes? How is B plus equal to 1 and B1? Oh, B plus is uh, half B1 because of this, because this is B1. Okay? B1 is going to drive a current around this loop. Oh, I see. Okay? Yeah. If you right kick off voltage law in this loop, and this is a voltage divider. So the voltage right in the middle must be just be one over two. Okay. Any other questions? Yes. Where does the current go? Where does I two go after it gets to zero? Well, I two has no place to go because this is a high resistance input, so it goes up. After that, after that, I guess it goes to anything that you have. Uh, some of it might go over here into the op amp. Some of it will go outside, depending on what you put on the outside. Okay, but you don't need to worry about where it goes from this point onward. You only have to worry about that if you hook something external to it. Any other questions? I saw one more hand somewhere, right? Yeah, but you have a question. question is, on the right side, why this node like what is different? Basically the same as this, like the brightest node, where is the current from R to go after, after meeting at the node? Oh, it depends on if you have a load here. Some of this current will go here, some of them will go into the off hand. Okay? It will just go something like that. So the current just depends on the It depends on what load you have over there. Okay? And how much goes in that direction, how much goes in that the other direction. Any other questions? Okay, have fun with the homework if there are no questions. <laughs>